Hey Focus students, it's me, Ms. Chapman, here um, doing our weekly reading blog. So the book that won from last week's um, choices was Bad Kitty. So that's the, bo the book I'll be reading to you today. Um, and I will have some questions for y'all to answer, um, and I will post that in Teams later on today. Um, there'll just be a couple of questions that, that you have to answer. So. The first question would be, just by looking at the cover and of the title, what do you think this book is going to be about? So if you look at the title, you can see there's a cat. It's just some purple paint, and there's um, some little purple footprints all over the wall leading up to where it says Bad Kitty. All right, so... I'm going to begin reading, so Bad Kitty by Nick Bruel. She wasn't always a bad kitty. She used to be a good kitty, until one day, oh dear, we're all out of food for the kitty. All we have are some healthy and delicious. Asparagus, beets, cauliflower, dill, Ack, says the cat. Eggplant, fennel, garlic, and horseradish, eek, says the cat. Iceberg lettuce, jalapenos, kidney beans, leeks, ugh. Mushrooms, navy beans, onions, parsnips. Oh no. Squashes, radishes, spinach, tomatoes. Ugh. Rhubarb, vegetable stew, watercrest, and shigua, which is watermelon in Chinese. I just learned that. Yuck, says Kitty. Yams and zucchini. Kitty was not happy, not happy at all. That's when she decided that she would be a bad kitty. But not just any bad kitty, a very, very bad, bad, bad kitty. She ate my homework, bit grandma, clawed the curtains, damaged the dishes, endangered the goldfish, flooded the restroom, grappled with guests, hurled hairballs at our heads. Irritated the baby, jumped on the bed, knocked over the lamp, was mean to my mommy, n nasty to daddy's neckties, overturned her cat box, and plotted against us. Quarreled with our neighbors, ruined the rug, sold all my toys, and tormented a little mouse. Untied my shoes, was violent with the vet, wrote on the walls, examined my diary. Yowled all night and zeroed the zinnias. What a very bad kitty. What a very, very bad, bad, bad kitty. But then, I'm back from the grocery store and look at all the good food I bought for kitty. We have Well, I'm going to take a pause real quick and ask y'all some more questions. So so far after what after I've read a little bit, what do you what is the setting of, of the story? Who is the main character? And then, after seeing that they are back from the grocery store and brought a bunch of good food for Kitty, what do you think is going to happen next? I want you to make a prediction and talk to your parents about what you predict. All right. 
So we have an assortment of anchovies, buffalo burrito, chicken cheesecake, and a donkey named Dave. Ah, said Kitty. Elephant eggs, fried flies, goosh goulash, hippo hamburgers. We said Kitty. Insect ice cream, jellyfish jelly, kangaroo kidney pie, lizard lasagna. Yippee, said Kitty. Moose a la mode, nightingale nuggets, an order of possums, and penguin pizza. Oh, yes, said Kitty. Quail quiche, rhino ravioli. Shark sushi turtle turnover. Turnovers. Yum, said Kitty. Uncle Murray, a variety of vultures, whale waffles, and an excess of Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yowie, said Kitty. Yak yogurt and baked zebra ziti. Now Kitty was happy, very, very happy. She decided that from now on, she would be a good kitty, but not just any good kitty, a very, very good, good, good kitty. She apologized to Grandma, bought me new toys, cleaned her cat box, drove me to school, erased the wall, Finished my homework, gave to UNICEF, hugged the little mouse, invited affection, joined the jamboree, kissed the goldfish, and left the lamp alone. She mopped up the bathroom, was nice to mommy, sang opera all night, polite to the vet, Quit quarreling with the neighbor, repaired the curtains, saved the day, tied my shoes, didn't eat Uncle Murray, vacuumed the floor, washed the car, filed our taxes, gave me a yellow yo-yo, and lulled the baby to sleep. What a good kitty. What a very, very good, good, good kitty. How can we, we reward such a good kitty? I know. Look, kitty, we bought you a new friend. You can play together and you can go to the park together and you can share your food with him. Uh-oh. And that's it. So, after reading, finishing the story, I want to know, um, was your prediction right? Let me know. Um, was there any other characters introduced um, after the second set part of the book? Um, and then I want you to name me um, one healthy type of food that the kitty didn't like, one bad thing the kitty did, name one yummy food item that kitty loved, and name one good deed that the kitty did. And that is it. Um, like I said, I will uplo upload this to teens. And um, I will upload a Word document to you. And you can answer the questions on the Word document. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, let me grab two more books so that I can let y'all vote. Let me pause this real quick. Okay, so your choices for next week are Magic School Bus Arctic Adventure or duck for president. So I will create a poll and post it on Teams and y'all can go and vote on there and um, the winner will be the book that I read next week. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, have a good night and I miss you. I know I say that every time I make a video, but I do. Um, hopefully we get to see y'all soon. Um, stay safe y'all, bye.